When you are two weeks out from your cruise, it is go time. So let's talk about the things you need to do. Let's get started. The first reminder is to check protocols for your cruise line often. In these last few weeks, the post restart cruise protocols have changed sometimes daily folks. It could make your head spin. The key thing to remember as you get closer to your cruise is to check your cruise line website very often. It would just not be a good feeling if you get to the cruise port without something you need or to find out you've wasted your time in doing something you think you need, but you don't. Just don't take the chance. Check the cruise line website every couple of days leading up to your cruise. Second reminder, get your house sitter, pet sitter, or boarding kennel reservation in place. If you have fur babies, you know you don't just trust them with anyone. If you have a boarding kennel that your pups like, be sure you have a reservation. If not, it's past time to look for a pet sitter. There are several options online at sites like Rover, but you can also ask folks who you know or businesses you frequently visit, like your salon or your barber shop, your church group, heck, your PTA meeting, your coworkers, or even your neighborhood Facebook page. You will need time to set up an initial play date to see if that person and your pets are a good fit. And then at least one more meeting to finalize what their duties are and pass on like a key or a garage door opener. Yes, y'all are already wanting up here, aren't you? Yeah, see this, these are our, oh, your feet are wet. Oh, we, I'm getting all wet. We need to dry them. If you want more tips on finding a pet sitter, check out the video I've linked in the description box below. Third up is to get those personal grooming appointments made and to get to them on time. You know what I'm talking about? Hair, manicure, pedicure, tanning, all the things to make your cruise worry-free in the grooming department. Depending on what the appointment is for, you might need to make it more than two weeks out. So put this on your to-do list for sure. Fourth item to not ignore is, I'm sure you can guess it, make sure you have your prescription medicines up to date and you have extras to take with you. This might take a call to your pharmacy or maybe even your doctor's office for extra medication. You do not want to get stuck in a weather delay. Or any other emergency that extends your vacation. and you don't have medication to last you through that time. There are certain medications that the ship's medical clinic can provide, but it depends on the medication and you certainly can't count on them having it or being able to sell it to you. A quick call to your doctor or pharmacy helps you be prepared for this scenario. Fifth reminder is make sure your home vendors are scheduled or canceled. That includes any work you had scheduled inside your home as well as outside. Like yard or lawn workers or pool maintenance workers. You sure don't want to get charged for workers showing up at your house and not being able to do the job because they don't have access. Hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. This is also the time to cancel or reschedule any food delivery services while you're away. How awful would it be to get home from your perfect cruise vacation and there's a box of rotting food on your porch? That's why I'm here, to save you from rotting food. And uh, of course, to talk about cruise stuff. And speaking of rotting food, this next tip needs to be done the week before you go on your cruise and it is clean out your fridge or i guess you could just eat it all but you also need to readjust your grocery purchasing so that there's not a lot of food sitting in the fridge going bad while you're cruising just smell that what was that color how's it feeling it smells bad how long is that there it couldn't have been two days mom that's pretty much self-explanatory but in case anyone's brain is already in cruise mode do not leave food in the fridge that might go bad 
Here's a tip folks might easily forget. Stop your mail. If you don't have a house sitter or a friend to pick up your mail, you need to tell the United States Postal Service, the USPS, to stop delivering your mail until you return. It's very easy. On the USPS website, tell them the date you want it to stop and then the date you either want it delivered or you want to pick it up. They will keep it all for you and you can pick it up all at one time when you return. No, really, it won't all fit in your box. You need to just have them hold it. Eighth in line is to call your credit card companies and let them know you'll be traveling. Imagine handing a vendor your credit card for that beautiful watch or vase or that sweatshirt that you've been eyeing and the sale be rejected because your credit card company flags it as a suspicious purchase. I cannot say that, suspicious purchase. Suspicious purchase in another country. It's usually about a three minute phone call, depending on the company, and it might even be a task that you can go online and do. You deserve that watch, so make the call. The next tip is to start packing your embarkation day bag and getting your cruise folder together. Remember, if you plan on getting in the pool or changing for dinner before you get your luggage, you'll need swimwear and an extra set of clothes. That embarkation day bag will come in handy. Regarding your cruise folder, if you're someone who can have everything in your phone and find it when you need it, I respect you beyond words, my cruising friend. I'm just not one of those people who can do that. I'm just not someone who can do that. I need everything printed out. So inside my cruise folder, I have dividers for flight and pre-cruise hotel and parking or car rental and ship paperwork like our printed boarding passes, even though we do also have our boarding passes on our phone. Like, have you learned how to use it yet? No. Me either. Is somebody here that could help us today? We want to know how to use cell phones. This is outrageous. And also everything on the ship, that's where I put the paperwork for our excursions in each port. I print all that out and keep it in our cruise folder. These last two weeks are the time to get all that in order. This is also the time to order those last minute cruise gear essentials. You know what I'm talking about. Snorkel gear, a fold up laundry basket, the magnet hooks that go on your cabin wall, blow up water noodles, all the stuff you'd never think of but guess what? It's right here in this video for you. So click here next so you don't forget any of that gear and be blessed.